Recent storms wreaking havoc on some of our major highways up north. The 40 from Flagstaff to Kingman, as well as the 60 and the 93 near Wickenburg, some of the hardest hit. Residents have been telling us that they have busted up tires, damaged their car's alignment because of the bad roads. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the details tonight. Steph? Good evening, guys. Yeah, the situation is so bad that it's almost impossible to avoid all of these potholes. People are having to bob and weave, go out of lanes, go into that emergency lane just to avoid them. And the residents that live there that are dealing with these every single day say it's a living nightmare. Blood alley. That's what we call it. Pothole after pothole, this stretch of the U.S. 60 near Wickenburg is creating headaches for residents. Now with all the potholes, it's a disaster. And people are constantly weaving and trying to avoid each other, truck drivers. You know, it's, it's very, very dangerous. And for the thousands of drivers who use this road daily... I was not expecting them at all, no. I was, we drove up this way back in October and... Uh, it was not as bad. The sudden dents in the ground come up fast and are unexpected, especially at night. It was kind of awful. There was potholes all along the way. You kind of have to stay almost on the side of the road, like that emergency shoulder area, just because there's the potholes are just right where your tires are and you don't want to keep hitting them. Residents of Wickenburg say the potholes started getting unbearable a few months ago. Many have asked ADOT to address the issue. The department says the potholes are because of the unprecedented winter weather and recent rainstorms, which is also delaying their repair efforts. We're doing the temporary patching and the cooler weather, and then once it's dry and warm, our crews can come in and cut out some of those bad sections and, and apply the permanent patchwork. Uh, we know that we'll be busy uh, up in northern area Arizona uh, all spring and summer. The residents say they want permanent solutions and not patches. Over time, they've tried to repair it, and the repairs have been re-repaired, and now potholes are occurring in addition to where the repairs were. What I would hope to see is that they would say somehow we can get some emergency funds and completely repave this. For now, ADOT has several projects planned for the next few years, but unfortunately none of these are about repaving these impacted areas. For now, they will be having a public meeting next month where they will be taking comment from the public, and you can also submit your feedback online. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.